yes, <laughs> it's Sunday and I still have not gone into my um, suitcase, which both of my suitcases are still packed for vacation, but I haven't gone in to find my remote control. So that said, when I start and stop, maybe I'll go get it today if I remember, because there were actually a couple of other things I remember. Um, I just finished my workout and I thought of a couple things that I had to come in here and share with you. This prompted it. You, I'll get to that in a second. But one other thing I just noticed, which is something I'll be excited to share with you later next week. You all know how I've had all these technology issues. I didn't plan to talk about this actually. Um, upgrading all of my stuff from my office in December. I'm actually so sick of talking about it, but I'm actually still just so overwhelmingly annoyed by all of it. I'm annoyed that my stupid when I go to make my call on my Bluetooth headset, I have to walk out here to my kitchen so I don't have feedback. And knowing that I actually have to call technical support and go, can you please explain to me how to make your product actually work? I'm not gonna let myself get upset about it. Wow, I need to get my eyebrows done. Um, anyway, one of the other things I told you guys that I was really annoyed by was iPhone 5, okay? Um, it comes out, not that iPhone, I guess, Apple, Apple and Mofi are two different companies, obviously. It was just really annoying because I had iPhone 4, and one of the things that I cannot stand about anything is running out of battery power. I cannot stand running out of gas. Michael, I don't want to hear about it. That was a very odd exception last night, okay? Second of all, I don't like running out of gas, and I don't like running out of battery power. Amy Burford, you know what I'm talking about. So what really annoys me about iPhone five is there was no Mophie for this, no extended battery. So yeah, you have to, basically if I make one call on here or Instagram for a little while or text, then I'm starting to run out of battery power. I, I, it blows my mind that this can be such an advanced phone and they haven't figured out how to make a battery work so that you don't have to be plugging it in or recharging it all the time. I'm actually not in a bad mood. It's just that when I get upset about something, and I get enervated. I get very enervated. So anyway, um, but one of the things that you will be excited to see is that this little person is going to be taking a back seat. You know why? Because the fine folks at HTC sent me the new HTC, I hope I'm saying this right, Droid DNA, which I will tell you I'm a little nervous because obviously I went from being a Blackberry girl to being a um, an iPhone person, which I swore I never would. And now I'm going to be using Droid operating system. Um, which I'm sure I'll be fine with it, um, but I will tell I'll, I'll do a comparison and everything like that. Um, it's charging in there right now, and because I've been sick, which I'll get to in a second, uh, because I've been so sick this week, um, I haven't even activated my phone. But this little fun thing, yeah, not gonna be my boyfriend anymore. Oh, because here's the other thing. So I, uh, this little wonderful upgrade of an iPhone, right? I go to sync it with my beautiful brand new Windows uh, 7, Windows 8, XPS, Dell, bleh, I'm just mixing everything up, I haven't even had caffeine. And it used to be that I could just sync my phone with Outlook in the past. It used to be that Microsoft Outlook actually used to work instead of Microsoft Outlook not responding all the time. Anyway, go to sync this and all of a sudden instead of having I think 3,500 contacts, I have 7,000 contacts. So it duplicated everything. Then I run a dupe cleaner on here and not only did it clean out my duplicates, but think about when you have family that all have the same last name. It combined all of my family into one contact. So I don't have one contact for mom anymore, one for dad, one for sister, one for brother-in-law, one for brother. They're all in one contact. So now I have to go back and re-add everything. I'd just like to know if there's anything I've bought in the past two months that has decided to work for me. I don't think so. And my hair's a mess, whatever, I just worked out. So, that's what I was going to tell you about my phone. Actually, I wasn't going to tell you that about my phone, but because it's here and it's upsetting me, I just thought I would. There's just so many, so many hair issues that upset me. <laughs> yes, I'm one of those people that actually needs to have everything even. <laughs> even when I've just worked out, I really can be probably the most annoying person to listen to, I know. Um, so, I just finished my workout. And there were a couple of things that came to mind. Um, 
First of all, I got on the scale this morning, and I'm up a pound. Do you, does it look like I'm upset? The only thing I'm upset about is my damn hair. Hold on a minute, because this is just really upsetting me. I'm just going to put it in a different ponytail and fix it. See, I'm right here. And the reason I'm not doing this on camera is because it'd be rude to sit there and have, like, sweaty armpits showing. Although I know some of you request that, but you're not going to get it. There. I think we're a little bit more neat and clean. Whatever. Um, what was I going to say? I hope you enjoyed looking at my refrigerator. Oh, this was my... Actually, let's be real. It was right about 420. Ow. <laughs> when I shut my polar off. Hold on. You see how you have to like press this button? <laughs> this is so embarrassing. You see the hair on my arm? The hair on my body is blonde. I don't know why, because obviously I'm not. But every time I go to press this button, it's like I'm plucking a little hair there. Just, I don't know why I just told you that. Okay, so anyway. <coughs> As you can tell, I still have this blasted cough. I don't know what I have. That's the thing. I have not been sick in forever. Um, and you guys know that I kind of brag about that a lot, how, you know, I take my vitamins and I don't get sick and blah, blah, blah. And honestly, I am just kind of beside myself, not only because I <laughs> had to cancel my vacation and reschedule it, but I'm leaving, when am I leaving? Um, leaving uh, Monday, not Monday tomorrow, a week from tomorrow, if everything goes as planned. Let's hope. Um, but anyway, oh, I guess I can take this off too. <laughs> Mr. Flo, don't get excited. Um, taking off my chest strap. Um, ugh, what was I going to say? So anyway, I, I, I have been sick since, when did I start getting sick? Monday? And um, I guess it wasn't like counting the days, but somebody's like, you've been sick for six days. That's too long. You might have bronchitis. Um, then I started to get paranoid. But um, it has been the, like the weirdest progression of of a cold or flu or whatever the hell it is that I have. But you know, it started off with, I could tell I was getting a sore throat and then I kind of felt like I was getting a fever, but I didn't take my temperature, so I don't know. And then I got the, the one night where I couldn't sleep without having a cough drop because my throat hurt that bad. And then the next day that was gone, but then I had the really dry cough. And then the next, it was almost like, you know, multiple choice symptoms every day. It was something new. It's like, oh, you haven't had this today. Why don't you have this? Why don't you have runny nose? Next day you'll have stuffy nose. Next day you'll have a headache. Um, <laughs> but it's all been above the chest, which has been why I have been squeezing in most of my workouts, um, aside from weight training. I really am so excited to get back to the gym. I think I did uh, butts and guts at home the night of the snowstorm on Thursday. Um, and then I did shoulders one day. <sighs> anyway. I'm getting back to this. So this, whatever it is that I have, has been lingering on and just knocking me out. And that's the thing, it's like every time I feel like I'm getting better, then later on that evening, I'm like, what in the hell, am I still, st and it'll get like worse. So yesterday, yesterday was really bad. And I felt like I had a fever all day. My face felt like it was on fire. And then I couldn't find a, um, my temperature thing. The thing that you take your temperature in, because again, I don't even remember the last time I've been sick. So Michael came over, brought the little thing that you put in your ear, and we took my temperature, and it said I didn't have a temperature. But I'm like, damn, I feel like I'm on fire. I feel like somebody put an iron on my face. So then later that night, I was getting ready to go to Walmart because I wanted to buy one, and then I actually found my thermometer, took my temperature, didn't have a fever. So it was a good thing I didn't have a fever, but that said, it's just been strange. So I went to bed, got some sleep, I forced myself, and the funny thing is, everyone that knows me knows exactly what my problem is. Well, clearly I have many, but they were all texting me going, Kelly, lay down on your couch. Is that the right word? Lay, lie. Um, you lay something down, I am lying down. Lie down on your couch, sorry. <laughs> I like to use correct grammar. Um, they're all like, get on your couch, get in your bed, and just watch TV. Don't do anything else. Don't clean the house. Don't work. Don't be on Twitter. Don't do your blog. Don't do this. And I'm like, <laughs> and then people would totally bust me because I was, you know, 
I never shut my mind off. I never just sit. I always like, oh, I better do laundry. Oh, I better clean the house. Oh, I better do this. And then, you know, I'm never really resting. So that's probably an issue as well. But I did for most of the day yesterday. I was just in bed on my couch watching an alias marathon. Went to bed early and I got up this morning. I slept until 9.30. I'm going to tell you guys. Right now, it's 11 o'clock. I have not even had my coffee yet. I haven't even had my breakfast yet. I'm shooting my vlog before I do any of this because I care about you so much and there's things that I want to tell you, which I started off 10 minutes ago saying I was going to talk to you about this as a very specific topic, and I'm going to. I'm going to hold it in my hands so I remember to talk about it. Here's the thing. So I got up this morning, felt better, and there's two points I want to make. One, this is something I forgot, but two, I keep telling you guys, the number one thing that people write about me, write, <laughs> people write a lot of things about me lately, um, but the number one thing that people write to me or that I see just randomly on Twitter, sometimes I think people think because I, I founded Fitfluential, they think that I'm like a trainer or some expert, I'm not, <laughs> I'm just surrounded by them. But um, you know, they'll go, I can't work out, I can't get motivated, how do you stay motivated, I don't understand, I don't know how, you know, you keep at it, blah, blah, blah. Well, obviously I've kept at it to some degree for a long time. And the thing is, I'm going to keep telling you guys these little um, self-lessons that I'm finding out about myself, so that the times that I catch myself and I'm like, ah, oh, nope not going to happen anymore because I know so many of you do the same things and I guess I'm just becoming so comfortable with like putting out all of the things, um, putting it all out on the table. All the things that I used to be like so embarrassed about and so worried about like, you know, what size I am or what I weigh or um, how much weight I have to lose or um, what I'm thinking. Who cares? You know, I'm not trying to impress anybody. If you don't like me, you don't like me. Um, if I can help somebody with like what I figured out and how I'm starting to find success um, at the ripe old age of 43, then I'm going to help you. Um, so anyway, got up this morning. I'm already frustrated, right? Because I've had a week of, <laughs> I'm supposed to be on the beach in Miami, not looking out at like a foot of snow, which is okay. I like snow. But I got up this morning, you know, and I'm, I'm frustrated and... Um, what I do every morning is I get on the scale and I weigh myself and I was up a pound. Now, number one, I expected my scale to start creeping up um, because Aunt Flo is on her way. And based on my measurements last month, it looks like I go up about two to three pounds over that week. I kind of stay, 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 then I go up, then I start coming down. Not to mention, in context, people, since January, since just measuring specifically, I have my, kind of my baseline from like November of some random time I weighed myself and measured myself back then, but just from like really proactively saying, okay, Jan 1 and, and forward. And that's when I really started training um, with Michael um, locally here and, and tracking everything. And I don't think I weighed myself until January 6th. But anyway, all that to say, here's the thing about the weight. My weight on the scale only shows a difference from January 6th till now, which is basically about a month, right? It's a little, it's like the 8th maybe? Um, my weight on the scale only shows a decrease of, I think, two, two pounds maybe? Well, because I've gone up. About two pounds, okay? Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. In the past, if I would have been weighing myself and only, only been putting measuring my success by what was on the scale, clearly I would have given up. Clearly I would have been like, screw this, you know, forget it. Um, and, and I've done that in the past. I've done that much earlier because there are other people like my friend Sherry or, you know, people in the blogosphere um, that will start something and get really serious and, you know, they'll be taking pictures of their scale and it's like, oh, look, I was 137 last week and now I'm 112. I'm like, I don't think I've seen 112 since I was a fetus. But anyway, <laughs> so I would get frustrated, and of course, comparing myself to them, um, which I have a completely different body, completely different metabolism. But all I'm telling you is that everything is so different now because I can tell you right here that, yeah, I mean, it still makes me tilt my head to go, really? There's only a difference of two pounds on the scale? But if you guys see, I mean, the difference in my body in a month 
And when have you heard me talk like this? In the past two to three years, you have not. The difference in my body is extraordinary in one month. Um, I can only imagine what it's gonna be like by summer. And so I have no problem talking about all this stuff. I am busting my tail and you know what? If, if it ends up being six months from now and my body keeps changing the way it is and the scale doesn't change, I don't give a crap. Who cares? I really don't care anymore. So that was um, context. God, I'm gonna have another 20 minute block again. <laughs> I just was saying, I wonder if I ever could do a short block. Yeah, anyway. So I got up this morning. Um, weighed myself and I'm like, oh my God. But then I'm like, forget it. And then there was part of me immediately because you guys have to remember, your mind is always going to, I remember when I trained with Jay one time and he was, he was talking, he was correcting my, my form on something. And I'm like, why is my knee doing that? And he's like, your body is always going to try to, to go the easiest way, the way that it's easier for you, the way that it's more comfortable. So, you know, you have to, be aware of that. And I, and I always have thought about that in the back of my head because when I get up this morning and then I take off all my clothes and then I weigh myself and I'm up a pound, it's human nature. My body's, my mind is going, screw this. I don't want to work out. I don't, what the hell? I've already gained weight. You know, on flow's coming. It's that time of the month. I'm sick. Let's just take some, forget it. Believe me, I did not, as much as I love all of my cardio, um, which is why I'm getting to this, and I just did the reviews earlier on all of the different DVDs that I have at home. I love, I enjoy all of that stuff. There's never a time that I've started it that I haven't finished and gone, that was so awesome. I just finished Les Mills. I did Les Mills Combat, the 60 minute one, and I burned 420 calories and I feel great and I'm so glad I did it. There's never a time that I do a workout that I finish and I'm all sweaty and disgusting and I'm like, oh, that sucked, I'm so pissed I did that. No, no, it never happens, but, recognize how often it is still going to happen. Even when you get totally on track, even when you're kicking ass, you're going to wake up and have those days where you're like, so, screw this. And you might use different words, um, but you don't feel like it. And recognize that if every time you give in to the times that you don't feel like it, you will never get anywhere. If something doesn't change, nothing will change. Okay. So once I recognized that my body was, um, that my body was, or my mind was going, oh, don't work out, I'm like, forget it. Now, I can't lie, <laughs> I'm going to grab my, my clothes and I'm like, <sighs> I'm putting it on, you know, and then I'm like, are you gonna not do what has gotten you here? This is what, what, what have you done that has gotten you here to where you're looking in the mirror and feeling so damn proud of what you've accomplished for 30 days? Are you gonna not do that? Because what you don't feel like doing is what you have done for the past 30 days. It's the past 30 days that you have kicked ass and, and worked out when you didn't feel like it. When Michael texted you and said, uh, are you gonna do some cardio tonight? And I'm like, <sighs> yes, and I did it. And I didn't feel like it. And I, I might've felt like sitting around and watching Anthony Bourdain for a little while longer. But you know what? My ass is better for it. So, mindset. You have to recognize that your mind is always going to want to take the easy way out. Be able to recognize it and be able to have that inner conversation with yourself. It doesn't mean you're a lunatic. Just do it. Lastly, I'm going to finish before 20 minutes. doesn't even matter. Um, I just did, and hopefully by the time I post this video, the others will be up. But so many of you had asked about what... Oh, I thought someone was honking out front. Um, everybody had asked about... Um, what, uh, what was I saying? Oh, what um, workout DVDs I have at home. And so I did the reviews of those, and then I realized as I pulled these puppies out towards the end of my Les Mills combat uh, workout that, um, I thought someone was at my door. Um, I realized that I didn't share this like an idiot in that review. So please keep in mind, you guys have been, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know, number one, this is so cute. I don't know if you can tell. See, there's like a little imprint of my watch on my... It's so cute. I just thought it was cute. Um, Valerie Waters is on uh, my Fit Influential Board of Advisors. She's a dear friend, sweet woman, and I have been doing her workouts um, for years. And here's the thing. So these are two of her 
pieces of equipment, if you will. Equipment. Um, Val slides, which come in, they originally came in green, now they come in pink, because that's how cheesy girls are. We're like, oh, I wish it came in pink. It's the same exact thing, just in pink. And then these are the Val bands. These are two things I pack with me on absolutely every trip, okay? So not only does Valerie have amazing workouts, I mean, I'm trying to think of her workouts. Red Carpet Ready, um, Action Hero Babe, um, what's the one after that? The, her most recent one is Hot in a Hurry. Red, red Carpet Ready, Action Hero Babe. Ah! Uh, go to ValerieWaters.com and I, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. But she always will use these um, sometimes on some of her uh, DVDs, her workouts. God, why can't I remember the name of the other workout? I have all three of them. Red Carpet Ready, Action Hero Babe. Oh, it's, oh, it's going to piss me off. Anyway, um, even if you don't, it, well, Here's the thing about Val. Valerie always does, you know, she trains some of the best, of course I've gone over 20 minutes, she trains some of the best um, uh, actresses and actors in, in Hollywood, if you will. Um, Jennifer Garner, Jessica Biel, I mean, you name it, um, Poppy Montgomery, um, women that have like a really lean, nice physique, and Valerie trains them all. And she uh, always does these like killer circuit blast. Now if you go on my old blog you'll be able to see all of the tags and you'll see how I've um, reviewed and, and I've talked about these videos a lot in um, in the past. I've always been pleasantly surprised. Um, I've always caught myself sometimes when she would send me her DVDs or her, her workout program and I'd be looking at them and I'm like it's not gonna be that hard. Wait, it's a step up and then this and then I would do it in the order that she has it, where you don't stop. And literally, every time I did it, I was dripping with sweat and I was cursing her going, how in the hell did you make up these moves? The moves that this woman has made up using this for your abs will kill you. Not to mention these can be used for your, um, for your legs as well um, and your butt. Um, I think they're, I don't even know. I think you can get a package like this. Here's the thing, what I'm gonna tell you. I also use these in my Kathy workouts because, um, and I would say this to Kathy if she was here, I have trouble, I've bought the bands that you can get, you know the kind of bands, not that have the handles on the end, the kind that you can tie, um, I don't have as good luck with those. So when Kathy, for those of you that know what I'm talking about, does fire walkers, um, I use Valerie's Val bands for that. I find that these are the best. You wrap them around your ankles and you walk in a straight line leading with your knees I cannot even tell you how much that will change your butt. Um, that alone, and she's, Kathy says that in her, in her video, she's like, fire walkers alone justify the, per the purchase of a band. But what I would tell you, I can't recommend enough, if you want, if you travel a lot, even if you just want something simple at home that you can find about 100 different uses for and will really do amazing things for you, these things. And I think she has a package on her website, ValerieWaters.com. I don't make any money from telling you about this. She's a friend, full disclosure. Um, but I do, I take these with, and, and if you go on YouTube and do a Google for Valslide, you'll see that it's not just women that use these, but men. They are just amazing for so many different things. Um, there's so many different ways that you can use these for your core, for your lower body, for your arms, buy it. And her, her workouts are also amazing. Um, they can be customized. They are a total sweat fest. They're sweat fest. They're awesome. And now I've done 23 minutes, so I have to go. I will talk to you guys later.